Hey everyone, it is January 24th, 2022, and this is your message for Monday, a useful message for teams in four minutes or less. Now, this week, last week in January, and we are focusing on the final topic in our Lead Your Life campaign or theme for this month. Remember, uh, it's New Year's resolutions or goals. We're not big believers in that. Most people just think about this kind of stuff once a year. Uh, but us at Firmly Founded, we think about it all the time and we encourage you, our teens, to think about it all the time as well. Uh, but that won't stop us from totally focusing on it uh, as a theme in January. Now, this week, we are focusing on the last topic of leading your life, which is uh, leading your life intellectually. Now, uh, most things we talk to, they're like, uh, dude, my goal is to like binge watch more Netflix or play more video games. I don't know what you're talking about, this intellectually stuff. Um, we encourage you to take time to stretch your mind by filling it with more powerful knowledge out there in the world. Guys, there's a ton of knowledge out there in the world. Whether it's in whatever academic area that you are studying, or hobbies or skills you want to learn, or uh, different pursuits that you have in your life that you just want to learn about, uh, whether that's things of this world, things of the, the universe, uh, things of business, things of, you know, whatever it is, right? And things of this world, I meant like nature stuff, you know? Um, whatever you want to study, whatever you want to learn more about, it could be sports. We want you to get more intellectual, to challenge yourself to get more intellectual. Here are some examples of intellectual goals you could have. Uh, getting your grades up and like doing homework ahead of time totally counts. You can have those goals, right? If you're uh, focusing on academics, but there's also goals like learning a new language or learning a new skill or hobby, like playing the piano or reading more books or learning more about your favorite topic, whatever that might be. We want you to really stretch that mind, all right? Your mind is like elastic. It can stretch far more than you're probably stretching it right now. And this is how we want you to do it. Sometimes you sit down and you get overwhelmed with the uh, size of the task or the amount of the knowledge that is out there in the world. We don't want you to spin and overwhelm. When we spin and overwhelm, we don't do anything. And that's very underwhelming. But we want you to develop a plan that stretches your mind a little bit every day. Just a little bit. For me, right now, for example, I am currently learning how to play the piano. I've been at it for eight weeks and I've been doing 10 minutes a day for eight weeks. I have an app that actually uh, keeps track of it for me and I'm on an eight week streak right now, which uh, I'm very, very proud of. And I sat down last night to play, to practice, and I practiced something that I had practiced, like a song I had practiced like five weeks ago. And I was better at it. I'm like, oh my goodness, I scored higher in the app. And I'm like, well, dude, it's, it feels so good to be learning and growing. I'm just doing 10 minutes a day. It is super duper easy. So what can you do in your life that will stretch your brain just a little bit intellectually. We want you to think about that and we're gonna be talking about it this week in this week's teen training room, which is Wednesday, uh, January 26th at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. All right, we will see you there.